for those of you that have iPhones, you'll know that on the iPhone, the standard ringtones are pretty boring, and you want to spice it up every now and then, you know, change your ringtone a little bit, but get out of the standard, is it like 10 or 12 that they have on there? So, if you want to make your own ringtone using only iTunes, so you don't have to pay for anything else other than just getting the song in the first place, then follow these steps and I can show you how to make your own ringtone using only iTunes for your iPhone. Uh, just as a note, it doesn't work with songs that are bought from the iTunes store that have the DRM protection, so they're copyright protected so you can't use those. And it won't work for any other songs that have any copyright protection. It'll work for standard MP3s, ones that are bought through Amazon Store, um, and AAC files that aren't protected. If you're unsure about the type of song that you actually have on your, I on your iTunes, then you can right click where it says Kind, as you can see in the box. And you can, get the, uh, you can get it to show what type of file it is. Other than that, you can just right click the file and get info, and it'll show you the file um, location and description. You can use that to get what kind of file it is as well. Okay, so first step, right click the song that you want to use as a ringtone and click to where it says get info. Then go across to the start and stop settings and check both of those boxes. Now you need to know um, roughly whereabouts you want the song to start or stop. So um, if you're in any doubt, just play the song first, find out you know exactly where it is that you want your ringtone to start and then just enter the seconds that it starts and the seconds that it ends and use that as your ringtone. Don't make it any more than 30 seconds because your phone doesn't actually ring that long anyway. It pretty much goes to voicemail after a few seconds really. Okay, now once you've done that, um, keep the file selected in your iTunes, go to the advanced settings at the top and create AAC version of the track. Okay, now you'll see the new file will appear at the top of your iTunes if you just put it in date order. So if you go to the very top for the newest file, and that'll be a new file that you've just created and it'll be AAC format. And you'll notice that they'll have the time difference, so it'll be only the length that you've specified, um, and it'll be a different type as well, because it'll be the um, AAC version. So what you want to do is just as a step for now, just go back to your original file, so the, the song that you chose to start with, and right click it again, go to uh, get info, and go to the start and stop settings and just uncheck those boxes now because you don't want that because when you want to play the song again you want it to just play normally through your iTunes. Okay, so now with your adjusted one, drag and drop that one to the desktop. If you can't already see the file type like I can on my desktop, then um, I, put a, I put a quick description, it takes 10 seconds, if you click the link in the bottom and you're better to um, make it so you can see the file types on your desktop. What you want to do is to change the file type from M4A, which it is now, to M4R, and that will be the type that it will recognise as a ringtone in iTunes. Okay. Now before you actually drag that back into your iTunes, make sure you delete the one that you created just before, so the new AAC version um, that you created just before dragging it to desktop, make sure you delete that before dragging your new M4R file back to iTunes, otherwise it won't recognise it. Once you've copied it back to iTunes, if this is your first ringtone, you'll notice that on the left hand side the ringtones icon appears. And next time you sync up to your iPhone, you'll have the new ringtone added on as the, at the very top of your list in your custom ringtones. And you just need to make sure that when you do sync to iTunes with your iPhone, and there's a box that you can check um, within the iPhone settings under the ringtones option. And you can just make sure that you check that box to sync all ringtones and it will make sure that that new file gets dragged across into your folder. Alright, well that's everything. I hope you've learned something new. I hope uh, that's helped you make a ringtone out of an existing song that you've already got. Save you a few pennies. You don't want to be texting those numbers so they can text you back a cheap ass ringtone that someone's obviously made on a piano. Uh, you just want to make it from your own file and I hope that helps. If not, if it doesn't work, let me know. I'll see if I can help you out. I'm not an expert. This is just what works for me. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Peace.